Hello everyone, my name is Lauren Robinson. I'm one of the staff and historians at the Ilion Free Public Library, and today I'm going to talk about how some of Ilion's historic churches got started and how they've developed up until recent years. Today I'm focusing on Ilion's Baptist churches. This is the second part of a series we're making about Ilion's historic churches and religious denominations, so be sure to stay tuned to the library's YouTube channel for more of this series. The information in this presentation was gathered solely from our history collections at the Ilion Library, and if anyone has any questions or knows something more about any of Ilion's churches and wants to share with us, you can still contact us via email right now while we're closed to the public due to coronavirus. My email as well as the email address for the Ilion Library's history room are both shown in this slide. So for this presentation, we're looking at the history behind the first Baptist church and how the Baptist denomination grew in Ilion. I'm going to talk a bit about the site where Ilion's first Baptist church is located today and an old Union worship house that was situated on that same plot of land before the Baptist church was built. I'll also talk about this photo on the right of the church and why it looks a little different from how the church looks today. So let's get started. We think Baptist activities in Ilion emerged sometime in the early 1860s. This was when holding Baptist services became somewhat common in Ilion. And by 1864, there were motions to officially organize a Baptist church group. A year later, the first Baptist church society was officially established. And April 16, 1865 marked the official recognition of Ilion's Baptist church. They had 15 starter members, but no church building that was specifically designated for their denomination yet. They originally held meetings in a union worship house that was on the corner of Otsego and West Street. It was basically a shared public space that several religious groups in Ilion, including the Episcopalians and the Baptists, shared until they were able to raise funds and build their own churches. Here's a photo of what the interior of the Union Worship House looked like. In 1896, the Union Worship House was torn down, and the Baptists used the same land plot to build a new church specifically for themselves. The same building is still standing today, although the outside looks a little different from this early photo. Ilion's first Baptist church was officially dedicated on June 18th of 1897. The church did well over time, and by 1914, they had more than 900 members to celebrate the 50th anniversary of their organization. That same year, a house lot located next to the church was bought and raised, and a Sunday school was built there. It was dedicated on December 6th. Sometime around the 1920s, a section of the church's tower was closed off and removed due to safety concerns. It was rebuilt later in 1939 with red brick and was completely closed in with a second tier of windows that matched the ones on the lower part of the tower, rather than having these open air arched windows you see in this photo. Another change to the outside of the building you might have noticed in this photo was the front entranceway. The yellow section here shows what the original entrance to the church looked like. At some point, this area was also redone and a ramp was added to make the building handicap accessible. Here's an interior photo of the church that was taken sometime around 1915. The church celebrated its 80th anniversary with 736 members in 1944, and a couple years later, the sanctuary was redecorated so services were temporarily held downstairs. Some renovation work was also done in the early 50s, and a local artist also donated two oil paintings depicting Christ to the church around that time. On March 25, 1953, disaster struck. A short circuit in the organ started a fire in the building that gutted the sanctuary and ruined all of the ongoing renovation work at that time. There was thousands of dollars worth in damages and about two feet of standing water left on the floor after firefighters finished putting out the flames. 
As a result, the church held its Easter Sunday services in the Capitol Theater in the Masonic Temple in Ilion that year. The congregation that attended turned out to be the church's largest audience since its founding. After three months of cleanup, the church began rebuilding and officially reopened and rededicated their building on November 15, 1953, after a lot of repainting, replastering, and remodeling. They also replaced the organ. In 1955, the church bought another nearby property and turned it into a recreation center. They also bought another house called the Brooks property in 1960 and raised it to create more parking space as well. The First Baptist Church of Ilion marked its 100th anniversary in 1964, and they just recently celebrated their 150th back in 2014. So that's the story behind the history of Baptists in Ilion based on the information in our collections at the Ilion Free Public Library. If you have any questions or want to know more about the Baptist Church and the old Union Worship House in Ilion, you can visit our library's history room and access our collections when the library reopens. Before we go, I just want to thank everyone for listening today. Be sure to look for more presentations like this on our library's YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow us on social media. I hope you all stay healthy and safe while we wait out the coronavirus lockdown. In the meantime, if you have any questions, don't forget you can still email us while we remain closed to the public. Bye, everyone.